Welcome to the virtual table of IEEE's History Center celebrating 40 years of service to members, staff, and the public. By fulfilling its mission, the History Center provides benefits to members in three ways. Our work shows technologists the many contexts of technology development and use. Staff have taught classes for 30 years. That raise questions about the relationships between the black boxes of technology and the people who use those technologies. Second, we encourage appreciation of engineers and technologists like Charles Cow, who changed the world. And third, the center enhances the prestige of members by making their legacies accessible to the public. The History Center is part of IEEE corporate activities. Director Dr. Michael Gazelowitz oversees six staff members. The History Center is funded by both IEEE and the IEEE Foundation. When the Institute of Radio Engineers and American Institute of Electrical Engineers merged into the IEEE, the History Committee was one of 12 formed to report to the Board of Directors. In the 1970s, IEEE volunteers and staff responded to Jim Britton's call for a Center for the History of Electrical Engineering. The History Center's first exhibit toured multiple regions for two years. Since 1982, the History Center has published its free newsletter on IEEE history activities. Harold Beveridge's 1968 interview became the History Center's first oral history. IEEE's first milestone was dedicated in Newfoundland, Canada in 1985 for the landing of the transatlantic cable. Between 1991 and 2009, the center hosted conferences of historians and IEEE practitioners. In 2002, the IEEE History Center launched its award-winning website, The Virtual Museum. Since the 1990s, the History Center has sponsored books of historical interest to members. Today, the History Center administers most of its programs through the Engineering and Technology History Wiki, launched with the support of the United Engineering Foundation. Two million unique users visited three million pages on the ETHW in 2019. The ETHW hosts biographies of people who have contributed to the world's technological development. Over 40 years, the Center staff have recorded over 800 interviews that are available on the ETHW. IEEE members are encouraged to add their memoirs of any length to the over 300 that are on the ETHW. Since 1985, the board has approved 208 milestone nominations recommended by the IEEE History Committee from all regions and fields of interest. Founded in 1981, the IEEE archives contains documents worthy of permanent preservation. Many have been posted digitally on the ETHW. History Center staff write and edit articles that appear in IEEE publications and conference proceedings, as well as on the ETHW. The History Center administers a variety of honors that stimulate scholarship in IEEE-related histories. These include the Life Member Support for the Bernard S. Finn IEEE History Prize for Best Article in the History of Electrotechnology, and the IEEE William and Joyce Middleton Electrical Engineering History Award for a book that reaches beyond academic readers toward a public audience. The History Center's REACH program offers free inquiry-based historical lesson plans that are compatible with U.S. and international standards. History Center staff have worked with LIFE members to mount exhibits at Stevens Institute of Technology and IEEE offices. Inspired by a gift from senior fellow John M. Pagliazzo, exhibits were developed for IEEE offices around the world. In 2019, the IEEE History Committee endorsed the Global Museum Project, and the Board of Directors approved the plan to promote the contributions of members through exhibits in every region. The first exhibit will be on the history of Bell Labs. Thank you for watching and for your support of the preservation and promotion of IEEE's many histories.